Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced tutorial. Now you are watching part 2 of the sub series C Ash RDLC report and report viewer control. In this video, we are going to set up data source. Insert the slide deck from a previous video. Data source. Data source specifies from where data flows to the report. Here in our case, the source location is SQL Server. In our case, we specify the data source as SQL Server PUBS database. We will design the report for titles table of the PUBS database. So the database is PUBS and table is titles. Hence data set will be for the title table. The data source tells where the database is. It is in the SQL server. It also provides information like username and password or how uh, we can connect to the database. Then data set tells what is the data element so in our case we are going to use a titles table for our report so here if you see pubs is the database and through data source and data set we will pick the titles table and we will supply that to the rdlc report now we will go ahead and prepare the data set because uh, we need to configure data source as well as uh, we need to configure a data source as well as a data set data set is for a titles table so once this is done we can uh, design the rdlc report we will go to the rdlc report part in the next video but uh, we will now concentrate on using the data source or configuring the data source that we will do here in this video now it's demo time let's go ahead and prepare the data source for our uh, uh, example so here we created a project called rdlc report ex and this is our form Alright, we just changed the form title as a book uh, books title. Now we will go to data. Add new data source. So here I am using uh, VS 2010. Uh, you can use VS 2005 also. In all our example, we used 2005 and uh, the steps will be almost the same with the latter version also. Here, as an exception, I am using a 2010 uh, because um, I have to reinstall 2005. Anyhow, now we will proceed with the 2010. Here, if you change, we will be choosing the database as the data source type then clicking next here what type of database model do you want to use here i'm using the data set then clicking next next we can create a new connection so if this is the first time you have to click here and choose Microsoft SQL Server or if your database is different you can choose that provider as well here I'm choosing Microsoft SQL Server and it will default to the uh, data provider .NET data provider for SQL Server so 
So server name here we have to give a local host. Here I'm choosing uh, use SQL Server Authentication. You can also go with uh, Windows Authentication if your uh, Windows logged in user have access to the SQL Server DB. So I'm using uh, the super user SA. Then password. So once these two informations are right, and when you click the drop down, you will see all the databases. Here I am choosing pubs. So that's the database because it contains titles table and we are creating a report or we will be creating a report for a titles table of the pubs database. Here we will test the connection once, then we will click OK. So previously created a connection and that's why this time it is naming this as a db01 you can use your newly your newly created connection if you are using it for the first time then you will be following these steps or if you already have connection to the pubs database then you can make use of the existing connection here you can see the connection string So here uh, I'm choosing yes, save the connection to the application configuration file then clicking next. And if you want to change the connection string, you can do that also here. That's the connection string name I am giving. And if you see now it is a displaying table view stored procedure. We chose MS SQL Server, we provided the connection information and as part of this wizard we specified type of uh, data is a data set and for data set all the relevant information is displayed. Data set can be loaded with the table of data or through view or through some of the stored procedure that returns data. Alright, here we choose tables and we are interested in titles table. We want to see what are all the column available. All these columns are available. Uh, here we are going to use uh, only few columns, but uh, as part of the data source, I am selecting all the columns. So in future, if you need, you can uh, make use of other columns available. All right, here I am clicking finish. So now connection information is ready and how can we verify that? So click on data and uh, go for show data sources. You can pin it anywhere. So I am pinning it towards the left side and if you see we have a pubs data set and these are all the data so all this data is available now in the next video we will add a new item to our project and make use of these data that's all here in this demo part now our project our project here is um, our RLC report ex is ready with the uh, sql server data or schema information instead of saying schema we can say uh, ready with the titles table. So data source is ready. In the next video we will create our DLC report template and we will make use of the titles table data. That's all here in this demo. Thank you for watching. Bye.